Hi, I'm Nathan Stevens, double Paralympian. Competed in both winter and summer. Competed in sledge hockey in Turin 2006 and chopper javelin discus Beijing 2008. Well, I've, I've always been quite a sporty person, say at the age of six, seven to eight, I was well into my rugby and football, uh, playing with a local team. But then when I lost my legs at the age of nine, I just, it felt it all got taken away from me at a point then, say it, it all happened so suddenly. Um, and I thought I'd never be able to take sport up again. So I got myself back into sport with the help from my parents, my brother and all the friends I had in school. I just cracked on with life. You know, you've only got one life at the end of the day and you have to live it to its maximum. We made it to a Paralympics, which none of us thought we'd ever do. We beat Italy, the home nation, in the final, which was uh, in the 7th, 8th place final, which I scored the winning goal for, which I was like, yes, thank you which absolutely topped off my Winter Olympics experience. I was only 17 and thought that was the biggest stage that I could ever possibly get to. After I got back from Turin, I had the option of continuing with my sledge hockey or convert into athletics full time. When I got told by my athletics coach that you, you can be great at this if you put your mind to it and settle down to it and do it full time, you, you can go all the way. I found it hard to adapt and when I went into athletics and you are an individual, I'm used to having this team of 20 guys around you all having the same emotions. Anthony Hughes has been my coach now for seven years. He's, I've grown with him and he's grown with me. He's learned stuff of me that he didn't know beforehand. You know, we've grown together. We, every step you take, they take. Every down day you have, they have. Every good performance you celebrate, they're going to celebrate it with you. And it's just got to be that relationship between you and your coach. You know, there's got to be that chemistry. We're all, we could almost say we're best friends. Because if I've got a problem, I know I can go to him. And he will be the first one to sort it out. If I can tell my story and inspire other people to do the same, inspire young disabled athletes to go out there and achieve their goals, go out there and chase their dreams, then, yeah, I, it's, it's brilliant. It's never actually hit me that I was actually qualified for Beijing until I got to the stadium, got to the opening ceremony, and then you're surrounded by 94,000 people all screaming, and you get into that atmosphere, into the zone, and you're just like, wow. You're so starstruck, and you just can't believe that you've actually made it. And yeah, it was just an absolutely fantastic experience, one of the best experiences of my life. When I did to compete, and finished fourth, you know, I was, in I was in the third medal place for more of the competition, like half the competition, and then the three big guys came out and just knocked me back. And I think it was just a nice little step in the door and say, look, I'm here, you better watch out next time. Coming up to London 2012 now with the GB athletes is, we're doing this for Britain, we're doing this for our nation. And I think if we can all grasp that, that goal, I think we can all come together as a team and create that team morale which we all need because at the end of the day we're all going out there as Great Britain and we, we all want to win. Not many people can say that they've competed in a, in a home, home Olympics or Paralympics but to come home with the medal or stay home with the medal and keep it in Britain would be absolutely fantastic and it would be, would, would be the dream.